I know you want, pop, you want, Damn. you want, rock and rock. Hey guys, so this is going to be a video about um, my brushes and kind of how I store them and just a quick review of all of them. Um, in this video I'm going to have three non-MAC brushes and seven MAC brushes. Um, these are all the brushes that I use most often. So, um, yeah, so... Basically, I have my two kabukis, which I just store on my vanity, and then I have this really makeshift um, brush holder. Um, it's really until I can get around to getting a like making a proper one. So it's like this. I don't know. A very makeshift. It's basically just like one of those plastic things you buy Q-tips in. <laughs> rice uncooked rice and like a ribbon just to make it look like not so ugly um I just keep my brushes in here for the time being nothing very exciting as you can see those are all my brushes all oh, these are all my brushes that I use most often um so I'm going to start off with my kabukis I have the 181 special edition brush which I got in the holiday set, Pinks are Popping Mineralized set, which if you check out my Christmas haul, um, that'll be in it. I think it was in part one, I believe. Um, and then this is my body shop one. I bought it with like the mineral powder, loose mineral powder. So that's size comparison. This is about the same size as 182 for MAC. Um, they're both extremely soft, but I still think this one's softer. Um, it's a different kind of soft. This feels more like, like, um, synthetic soft, and this feels like more furry soft. You know what I mean? Or hopefully, I don't know, I'm not very good at describing things. Um, so in here, the pink ones are from... A brand called Sasa, I don't know if you can get it outside of Hong Kong. I think you can get it uh, like Hong Kong, Singapore kind of areas. Not much outside of there. So I'll just get those done, over and done with first. This is just a big powder brush. So you can see it's getting like a bit old because it's like tangled a bit. It's good for bronzer and just all over face powder. Um, I'm saving up for the 134 from MAC, but it will take me a while. Um, this is the just flat uh, flat liner brush, which is really good for you know whole liner and putting shadow under, like on the lower lash line, and it's quite good for smudging as well. Now the rest are MAC brushes. Um, okay, so start with the most obvious, like the most one that stands out for me anyway. This is my MAC 187. Ooh. And currently this is my favourite brush for blush. And that's because it's perfect size for blush and it provides like a nice sheer application. Um, I use it for powder occasionally, but I like my kabukis for that. Oh, um... I usually use this for my MSF Natural, but I do use my other one, uh, just because I feel this picks up the product and distributes it better than the um, than the bigger one from Body Shop. Okay, so this is really nice. Um, you can always you can also use it for a quick like bronzer application. Um, yeah, I really like it. I haven't used it for liquid foundation, which I'm pretty, uh, which is like it's main use but when I get round to I will do a review on that but I love that brush an investment yes but if you take care of it it will last a long long time next ooh, rice going everywhere is it's a 129 special edition like short handed brush I think it came in I don't know where I got it I got it quite a long time ago and this is really good for blush, but because it's special edition, 
It's not as nice as the other one, as the original one. It's good for blush. Um, I still prefer the 187 at the moment, but it's good if you want to, like, if you're using more of a sheer tone blush. So it's just easier to build up. Because sheer tone in 187 takes a lot of building. But, you know, you can also use it for a more precise bronzer. You can, yeah, whatever. Along those lines. So those are my only face brushes for MAC. And I have one, two, three, four, five eye brushes. Excuse my appearance, sorry, it's like nearly 6 o'clock and I've been at school all day and I haven't really freshened up. This is, sorry I thought someone was coming in. This is my 219 pencil brush special edition which I got two years ago in, the hol in a holiday set but I don't know what it was called. It was two years ago, it was 2000 and seven um and mine's a bit distorted i think someone cut it or something you know it doesn't look quite right but i love this for if you see in my defining a crease video because i actually have some like, quite small creases and i find it quite hard to um get it quite precise um and i like it for putting color on the lower lash line. Um, next we have my ooh, I, we have my uh, 239 uh, and I got this for Christmas if you saw in my Christmas haul and this is such an awesome brush for placing colour. Uh, that's all you can really use it for unless you like get colour on the end and you can kind of do a bit of crease work if you would like if you're like that desperate for like if you don't have, a, if you could just have, if you just have this brush, you could do a bit of crease work for it. You can also blend by dragging colours across. Um, this is the special edition 209 brush for liner, which I got in the Naughty Noir eye set this Christmas. Oh, 2009 Christmas, I know it needs washing. But it's good for liner, I use it with my Black Track Fluid line. Which I still haven't quite mastered, but whatever. Getting close. Oh, sorry, my skin's broken out. I hate that. Um, next is the first brush I ever bought, like with my own money. And that is the 217. This one is worn off a bit until I painted it. Um, just a quick note about going over in clear eye. Uh, yeah clear nail polish is really good it helps to preserve your numbers like I've had okay I got this at Christmas it hasn't it hasn't worn a bit because like the second I unwrapped it I got my OPI um top coat just did a quick coat over the numbers let it dry properly and it's fine um you have to make sure do try and use a top brand because otherwise they like don't dry properly you know that kind of thing where you they just don't feel dry and they'll scratch the numbers even worse so you really want to try and get like OPI is really good I yeah it was that I used the OPI top coat base and top coat um yeah so I really recommend that so you can see your numbers anyway so this is the perfect crease crease brush and blending brush and you can do your highlight and you can just do, put, put colour all over the lid with the slightly, like, wider side colour. And this is an awesome eye brush. I know, they all need to be washed. Um, and finally, this is my most recent brush. And I still haven't done the haul on this yet. And that's the MAC 224. I was really excited to get this and I'm still not sure what I feel about it. It's really good for like crease and blending. I don't know, maybe I still don't know like the proper way to use it. I'm gonna watch a tutorial or something on it. Because yeah. I don't know, it's good. You can put highlight and stuff on with it. Same kind of thing as the 217 bits bigger. Uh yeah, 217. This is the 217, this is 224, so 217's fatter, but 217's like bigger, longer. 
इसे 